The Rye Lopez, also known as the Spanish opening is an aggressive opening that white can play against whatever black responds with. Here, I am just going to show one of the many possibilities in a chess game, not all games come out the same way. Anyways, to start we will play e4. Black will, most probably respond with e5. Knight f3 and knight c6. After the knight development, we will play bishop to b5, the Rai Lopez. You will most probably encounter a6. The vast majority of people will retreat their bishop, but it is a mistake as the bishop will be chased and you will have a messy start. So, I would suggest capturing their knight. They will recapture with their d-pawn, opening up the diagonal for their bishop. Instead of capturing their pawn on e5, develop your other knight. The reason we won't take the pawn is due to queen d4. If black plays this move, our pawn and knight get forked and our position will be worse than black's. So, after developing our knight, the most common move black does is bishop d6, a natural development. We strike the center. Black takes and we capture the pawn with our queen. This also opens up an attack on the g7 pawn. Now, black has three options. They can either defend with their knight, offer a queen trade, or ignore the threat. Let's focus on these one by one, starting with knight f6. If black tries to block with their knight, we can play e5, forking their bishop and knight. If black plays queen f6, we can fork again, but this move can easily be countered when black plays queen e6, pinning our pawn to our king. Finally, if black ignores the threat, we can take the pawn. Black's only move to win back as much as they can is to play queen f6. So, when we take, black takes back with the knight, we fork again with our pawn. This is a chess game played by two famous players, Bobby Fischer and his rival, Sparsky. Here, Bobby is white. He plays the Rai Lopez, his favorite opening. 